Hey, what's up, guys? It's me, Mr. Four K Upscaler. So I want to talk about Doom Eternal a little bit on the Shadow, and something interesting that I have noticed about Shadow uh, when it comes to playing on your phone with the resolution that I'm currently using here. Let me show you. All right, so currently, right now, I'm using twenty nine twenty seven by fourteen forty. That's the native resolution that this Note 10 Plus supports, and it fills the entire screen. Now, this is something you can't do on, for example, a Stadia or GeForce Now, but you can do that here on the Shadow. So that's one of the caveats, uh, but you can do that for the phone. Now, people asking me about, could you use a dual screen with 32 by 9? No, uh, Shadow... I actually spoke to Shadow and they said you cannot use the dual screen, but that's something that they're going to be implementing in the future. But, but as of now, you cannot use dual screen. Uh, they do have a beta for virtual reality, but dual screen, it's still not uh, being implemented. But that's something in the future that would happen. Um, so as you can see, here I am. I'm using that resolution and it's the, filled the entire screen. Uh, so now my entire screen, it's been filled and uh, we can do maybe a quick campaign here uh, just to continue. Here we go. Let me uh, get a little bit. I want to give you guys the best possible. Um, viewing here, it's difficult to record a phone from another phone, uh, you know. There it is. I'm in the gates of hell here. I entered in gates of hell. As you can see, the entire screen is filled. And there's my uh, thumbstick here. And works quite well. Um, so uh, what, I'm gonna, what I'm trying to say here, in case you guys are wondering, what's the whole point of this video? The whole point of this video is that this is pretty cool that Shadow supports this feature. Uh, that you can implement the original native resolution straight from the settings and you can enjoy the, the resolution that your phone originally gives out. Uh, you have to trust me that this looks much, much better in, in person. You know, uh, when you are trying to record something from a phone to another phone, it, it's a bit... Uh, difficult. Maybe I can turn on my light. Maybe this will kind of give you a little better. Uh, okay, well, there we go. I think this will give you a little better idea. But the resolution, it's really, uh, it's a native resolution. And I'm using a 10 megabit per second on the phone. And uh, it looks quite good, though, actually, as a matter of fact. Maybe I can put it like this so you guys can see it. Or maybe like this. If I do it like this, I think you guys will see a little bit better. But this is the uh, the original resolution that this phone supports. And uh, it plays pretty good. It's at, uh, now it's at 100. It's 100 frames per second, which is pretty good. There's my uh, controller right here. This is by uh, Web Webby Geek. Uh, they're all manufactured in China, honestly, so it doesn't matter. They're all the same. Uh, the clipper that I'm using, this clipper for my phone. And I have to say, this looks pretty awesome, man. It's almost like you're playing directly locally from your Android uh game library on your phone and it's uh pretty darn good i mean just the fact that you can play doom it's pretty insane uh that here we are here here's what i want to say about shadow and, and you know a lot of people have been kind of asking me about shadow when shadow works it's great when it works it's great but when it doesn't work it just sucks and i don't know what's going on man i have a here i am listen this is a a Wi-Fi hotspot. I'm not even home. This is a 
Wi-Fi hotspot. I'm using a Wi-Fi hotspot and uh, look how beautifully it runs. But for some reason, for some reason, when I go to Windows, to my desktop, I have a pretty good computer. I have, I have three different desktops. Uh, both of them are AMD. One is the uh, NVIDIA. Every time I go to my desktop, there seems to be a problem. There seems to be some kind of an issue, you know. Uh, it doesn't want to start. The shadow, it's off. I don't know what the deal is. I don't know what the problem is. I can't figure that out. But whenever I'm playing on a phone, I don't have any issues when I'm playing on a phone. I, I, it's just, I can't figure it out. So I really don't know what uh, the problem is, what the issue is. Uh, but uh, it works great on the phone. It works great on the phone. Um, I haven't tried it on my Ultrabook. I might want to try it on the Ultrabook. I also need to try it on my iPhone 11 Pro Max. And maybe I should try it on the iMac and MacBook Pro to see how well it runs. But for some reason, on my Windows desktop, there's always seems to be the issue. Uh, I mean, even with 250 megabits down and, and 40 up, I should be able to run uh, 1080p on the desktop. But there's always seems to be some issue with, uh, with the desktop. But with the phone, uh, Shadow, I haven't had any. I mean, it really works great with the phone. I haven't had any issues with the phone. Seems to work great with the phone. Note 10 Plus here with the uh, the original resolution here. Maybe I can turn off the, uh, here just to show you guys. There we go. I mean, it looks beautiful. This is the, the original resolution that I am uh, currently on, on this phone. Native resolution. This is being presented natively, uh, and it looks really great. So I don't know what to tell you. I don't know. This is something I'll have to talk to Shadow I'll have to talk to Shadow about this. Why is it that it's running really great on an Android phone? But when, when it comes to the desktop, PC, Windows 10, it seems to be some issues. Same thing goes with NVIDIA GeForce. NVIDIA, uh, NVIDIA uh, Shield, I'm sorry. On NVIDIA Shield, the app doesn't work that great. Uh, I've been having all sorts of problems. <clears throat> excuse me. And issues with... Uh, NVIDIA Shield app, it worked at one time and then stopped working. It, it just says shadow off, shadow off, shadow off. And I'm thinking maybe the server is off. I don't know. Uh, but on the phone, here I am. Wi-Fi hotspot, lousy 40 megabits. I kid you not. Lousy 40 megabits uh, per second. Right now, it's really bad where I'm at in this area. It's 40 megabits per second. But here it is. It's running just fine in its native resolution of this phone. So uh, I don't know. Maybe the shadow can, uh, uh, someone from the shadow team can answer this question for me, why that is. Uh, I mean, if I don't have the internet at home, that's a different story. But even with a 350 to 250 down megabits per second and 40 up upload, you should be able to run at 20 megabits per second bitrate with a low latency H.265 mode, you should be able to run uh, on the Windows on the, on that uh, software. So I don't know what to tell you, but it, it Shadow seems to work great on, uh, on my phone. And this is pretty cool. Like I said, this is really awesome that they have this ability to give you the uh, ability to use the resolution. Uh, the native resolution of the phone. So that's pretty awesome. Anyway, I just wanted to kind of point this out. Uh, look, guys, I'm testing Shadow. Uh, I'll do some more tests on it. You know, it will take time, you know. Uh, but I have to address the problems. I have to address the positives and negatives. I have to tell you uh, how the service is. And then you can make your own decisions based on these videos okay I'm not here to tell you buy it don't buy it I'm simply saying is here's the kind of problems I'm in encountering and uh, this is what I'm going through doesn't mean that you're gonna have these problems with shadow but I gotta tell you the kind of problems I'm having but it works great with the phone even with with 40 megabits per second internet uh, pfft, here I am all right guys well thank you for watching have a good one though take care
I'll see you soon. Cheers. And by the way, uh, the Alice uh, VR Half-Life Alice VR looks freaking amazing. I'll do a part two. Uh, people ask me, why don't I do a live stream? I would do a live stream, but the problem is, guys, I cannot see your comments because I'm wearing a VR headset. I'm in a different world. I cannot read your comments. If I if there was if there was a way for me to read your comments on on the live chat, then I would do it. But the problem is, uh, I constantly have to take off my VR headset, put it back on, take it off, put it back on. It's just too much of a hassle. So what I decided to do, I will do. Uh, 1080p, possibly 1440p, 60 frames per second video, uh, video part two. I'm going to show you the part two. You guys can go check out the part two. It's going to be uploaded tomorrow, sometime tomorrow, uh, tomorrow night. Go check it out. Uh, it's going to be in great quality. And But remember, to, to truly appreciate the Half-Life Alice, Alec, uh, Alex, or Alex, <laughs> you have to um, put the VR headset on yourself to to understand how immersive and how realistic it is. The, the game is already getting 10 out of 10 uh, masterpiece right across the board, and I agree. It's not a short game. It's 15 hours, and for a virtual reality, 15 hours for a game like this, that's pretty awesome. Uh, so a lot of cool games coming out. You know, we got Alex, uh, we got Alex, I mean Alex, we got Doom Eternal, we got Doom 64, we got uh, Resident Evil 3 coming pretty soon, and then we got Final Fantasy 8. So there's tons of games coming out. This is awesome. Again, you know, it's just, it sucks that we're dealing with this virus, but uh, we'll get through it, okay? We'll get through it, guys. The games will keep us busy, to stay at home at least. Have a good one though, take care, and I'll see you soon. Cheers. Always a pleasure to see you. Uh, once my internet gets better, I'm going to jump in doing live streams. Don't worry, I'm, I'm, I'm coming back to live streams. Uh, I didn't forget about it. There will be live streams, it's just uh, when it comes to the internet, it's out of my control. I can't control it, but as soon as it becomes better... I'm going to jump into the live stream. And I know how much you guys love my live streams. So uh, I'll be coming back to that. Possibly this Thursday. For sure Friday. If everything works out great. Alright guys. Well keep keep an eye on uh, the content. I'll be putting a bunch of content. So keep an eye on it. Thank you all. Be good. Take care of yourself. Cheers.